Hey guys, Alan here from Premiere Pro Tips and today's pro tip is how to use slow motion and also um, fast forwarding um, video. So um, basically what I have here is I have a clip of someone on a skateboard and then doing a trick right there and then coming back down. So um, obviously we want to highlight the actual trick so what I'm gonna do is show you how to use slow motion at specific times to reach your desired effect so there are two ways to um, apply slow motion um, first I'm gonna grab it again I'm really quickly gonna delete the audio so that you guys don't have to hear it um, now there are two ways to apply slow motion to a clip. Um, one way, and this is the preferred method for me at least, you use the rate stretch tool. The keyboard shortcut is X. And um, you bring it towards either the, um, the end or the beginning of your clip and you'll get these, uh, you'll get this bracket with um, the squiggly arrow going through it. And then basically from there you can either stretch it out to extend the time of the clip like that and what that does is it slows it down because you're you're making the clip last longer so as you can see right here it says that it's lasting for 59.52 percent of its original so it's almost half speed and likewise to make it faster we can do the opposite so it started off at around here so what we would do is we'd bring it back to make the time shorter than the original and so that's fast forward so that's going almost double the speed um, now the other way that you can um, either use slow motion or fast forward is to um, you right click on the video clip that you wanna apply the effect to and you go to speed slash duration and now you'll um, you'll have this percentage here so right now it obviously starts out as at a hundred percent because this one isn't modified so if we wanna make it slower by half we put in a percentage like fifty percent and then if we wanted to um, make it double we could put in something like two hundred percent um, or if you know the specific duration that you want the clip to last so if you want it to last exactly three seconds you can click here and just punch in three seconds and it'll calculate it and vice versa um, so yeah that is pretty much it um, I think that there's one other thing I wanted to mention, but I'm having trouble remembering. Um, oh yeah, so I can show you how this can be used um, practically. So, um, so as you can see, he goes up for the trick, so I want that in normal speed. He's winding up for the trick, and then right here is where he starts performing the trick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the razor tool, which is shortcut C, and right at the point where he starts I'm gonna mark it with this and then I'm gonna use the razor tool to cut it right at that point and I'm gonna grab the marker move it forward until he finishes the trick and then right there okay so now we have three clips we have the beginning of the clip which is right here and we want that normal speed then we have the middle of the clip which we want to slow down and then the end which back to normal speed so we obviously don't have to affect either of the normal speeds but we have to um, change the middle so first thing that we want to do is we want to take this whatever's in front of the clip that you want to adjust and you want to move it out of your way sort of because you want to make space for this to expand because or else um, it ends up deleting video footage and you definitely don't want that so take any clips that come after after the thing that you want to adjust and just move it to the side so we're gonna go back to our rate stretch tool 
and I want to make this about half speed so I'm just gonna gray it, grab it and estimate so that looks about good maybe I'll make it a little slower and then um, once that's done you can just grab the, grab the footage that you moved away earlier just put it back at the end so that it's all one fluid video clip and then I'm going to render it really quickly so that you guys can see the final product so while this is rendering I'll just use this time to um, to please like favorite and subscribe if you enjoyed the video um, if you have any suggestions questions comments anything like that please feel free to let me know either through a message on YouTube or um, or in the comment section um, I'm, I usually do a really good job at answering questions for people so yeah I'm gonna make this a little larger so you guys can quickly see it so we have normal speed he does the trick slow motion comes back down in um, normal speed that might have been a little choppy for you guys since I'm running recording software and I have some other windows open and so my computer isn't uh, it's not that great so it's sort of struggling a little but yeah that's uh, that's how to use slow motion and fast forwarding in Adobe Premiere Pro thanks